In this question, uh, we're dealing with density once again. And uh, in this first problem, we're dealing with grams. And density is grams per cubic centimeter. So it looks fine. We have uh, mass in grams, and we have the units in cubic centimeters. We've got iodine here. Now, uh, what we want to do is realize that the uh, density formula looks like this. Okay. The harder way to do this problem would be to uh, solve for volume. That's what we're trying to find here. And if you do the algebra, you could, you know, go through all the steps and so on. The volume is going to be uh, mass divided by density, and the units look kind of weird, but you could you could do it that way. Uh, instead, what I would like you to think about is using density as a conversion factor. So we have the density, which is equal to uh, 4.93 grams per uh, one cubic centimeter. Okay. And remember, a conversion factor is when two equivalent quantities are written one over another in a fraction. So this is the same thing as writing one cubic centimeter over 4.93 grams. Okay, so we can use these, one of these, to convert 25 grams to volume. So what are we starting with? We're starting with grams. Which one of these fractions will allow grams to cancel? This one. So on this fraction bar, let's write our conversion fraction factor, 1 cubic centimeter over 4.93 grams. And the grams just simply cancels, and we determine what this is and get our answer. Okay. So on my calculator, 25 divided by 4.93 is equal to 5.0709939. So let's see, how many sig figs do we want to round this off to? We have two sig figs in the 25, three sig figs in the density. So we want to round this off to two sig figs. This number here is greater than 5, so we round this up to 5.1. What are the units? The grams canceled, so we're left with cubic centimeters. Okay. That's a bit easier than trying to work with all of the units uh, from the algebra. Let's do the same thing for uh, this second problem. Here we've got some hydrogen. We know the mass. We know the density. And we're asked to find the volume. So the density, once again, is 0 0.089 grams per 1 liter. Uh, that's the same thing as saying 1 liter is equivalent to 0.089 grams. So we can write these uh, two fractions which are used as conversion factors. Now we have 3.28 grams which is what we're starting with. And what we'll want to do is uh, figure out a way to get that grams to cancel. We can see here that we use this fraction, this conversion fra factor. We have one liter up on top divided by 0 0.089. Oops grams. The grams cancels. Let's punch this in on our calculator and see what we get. 3.28 divided by 0 0.089 and I get 36.85393258 on my calculator. We want to round this to how many sig figs? Well, this has three sig figs. This has two sig figs. So we round around this off to two sig figs. This 8 is greater than 5, uh, so we round this off to 37. What are the units? Liters. The liters did not cancel. So that's 37 liters of hydrogen gas. So box that up, and that's our final answer. Uh, so try to use density as a conversion factor, and realize that you can flip it right upside down. Thanks for watching.